going on everybody today we're going to be having a conversation about telematics so what is telematics telematics is the capability of monitoring equipment so being able to monitor machine location being able to monitor maintenance things such as diagnostic trouble codes maintenance intervals based off of engine hours uh, Telematics has been around in John Deere for quite some time now. Uh, they first came out in the R-series tractors and the S-series combines and has evolved over time to give us even more information than when it first started. And by we, I mean ourselves and the customers. So if a John Deere customer has a operations center, which is a free account, um, as long as they have the equipment registered in their operations account, they can see all of these things. Um, and track the health of their machines. So with that being said, because this technology has continuing adapting over time, Deere has now come up with a solution that's not only for the new integrated John Deere tractors, but they've also come out with some new technology in order to backdate it, so to speak, into older John Deere equipment and also have the capability to add it to multicolored fleets so if you're a customer that has some john deeres in there but maybe you have some case tractors some new holland equipment um fent equipment cat old cat challenger um this is a technology that can plug and play right into your equipment let's check it out so what we have here is a john deere telematics modem now in the past deer has had one modem that they traditionally sold and it depended on what um, era it was so you know, back when 3g cellular network was available we had 3g modems more recently when we ever the whole world updated in technology to 4g data carriers these changed to 4g as well as these send information on a cellular network via a 4g um, signal so it's been 4G for a long time and they just recently came out with two new modems, the R modem and the M modem. There, now we can see it a little better. So this is the M modem. So it doesn't have an external antenna. All it has is the plug-in for the harness that comes with M modem specifically. The antenna is built into the unit and then it actually comes with 3M tape. So this is meant to be more of a universal unit. Now, because it is a universal unit, it does lack one feature that John Deere modems normally would let you do. So John Deere has a technology called machine sync that requires a modem. This modem, because it is universal and has an internal antenna, it can't do machine sync, but it can deliver everything else that a modem can do. So in these modem kits, it also comes with a universal harness. So this is the square end that we're gonna plug into the back butterfingers here it's going to plug into the back of our modem that's going to supply power and information then it's going to come with this guy so it's a traditional service port connector so we're going to plug it into the service port on our older john deere series tractors or competitive equipment and allow us to see machine telematics and location it does have to plug in to a power source so a convenience outlet of some sort. And then it also comes with an ethernet cable harness. So for the new G5 displays, the G5 and the G5 Plus, this is a plug and play option for sending agronomic data and for doing remote display access. So a dealer or someone that you give permission can remote in and see your display, help you through certain problems. But like I said, this is more of a universal fit. So if we look at models like like this guy so this is not a green tractor this is the purple peter people eater otherwise known as a fent 930 so we're inside the fent now on these fence the service plug is located right here behind this panel so in order to link this up what we would have to do on our harnessing is we would have to get it keyed power battery power and a ground. And then we're gonna take this guy and we're simply gonna plug it right into our 
diagnostic service port. And then it's gonna start feeding us information from these units. There are charts out there that will tell us what deer has already accomplished as far as what can we read, what can't we read based off of the brand and model. So if we are in question on what we can see 100% on these, um, your local deer dealer can look it up and tell you all the information it can or can't see. But at minimum, you will be able to see machine location, machine speed, and if the machine is running or if it's shut off. Because these MTGs do call in and they'll show the last timestamp that they've called in. But Dylan, that's fine and dandy. You can put it in a purple people eater like a Fent or a New Holland or a Case. What if I want to put it in an old John Deere? Something that's not in our series. Let me show you the way. You can see no major frills in here. It's just a regular old 7330. But what happens if I look under here? Whoa! There's an MTG in here. So like we talked about earlier, as long as you can get a power, which we've got power right there, and if we can get her hooked into the diagnostic port, we can track this machine. So we're linked into my Operations Center account. So when we get into our main homepage on Operations Center, the left-hand side has everything that we have for an equipment list, active or inactive. We can see the location, here it is, in front of the shop. You can see where it's moved in the last few minutes, and then you can see it's been idling for the last seven minutes and 42 seconds. Now, when I click into this thing, we're gonna get some more info. So, here is the current engine hours from the tractor itself. This is the MTG pulling data off the CAN bus. So it's got 1,321 hours. If we look, you can see we've got an alert. It's throwing a code and we can see that here. So not only can we see it on, on Op Center on the display on our desktop here, but you can see it from your phone. So as you get codes, it's gonna send codes to your phone via the Operations Center app. Well, Dylan, that's fine and dandy, but that's gotta be an expensive piece. Not really. It's only a $500 unit. Now, that is of today's date, February 15th, 2024. You can buy a modem for your equipment for $500, plug and play, free of any activation. The only caveat is you have to have an operation center account. You have to be able to put the modem in the tractor on the CAN bus and get it power via the key and the battery. And then you can track this tractor just as easily as I could today. So tracking your fleet has never been simpler with these tools. What more can you say? Thanks for watching.